Yeah, go ahead. Hi, this is Brendan with Tech Partner, and today I am upgrading the RAM in a customer's MacBook Pro. Um, this, this particular MacBook Pro uh, is 2010, and it's eligible for an 8 gig upgrade, so making an already very powerful laptop even more powerful. And it's something that's easy to do. It's something we do for our clients, but if you're not afraid to unscrew a few screws, it's that easy. So if you want to zoom in, and you can see that there's 10 screws that, this is the bottom of the laptop, that secure the bottom plate of the laptop. All you do is remove all 10 screws, and voila, you have the bottom of the computer. And in here you see the RAM modules. Here's the new RAM modules, and here is the old RAM module. This particular one is the Kingston, it's an 8 gig kit. If anyone's curious, I'll post it in the description of the YouTube video, the exact make and model of this MacBook Pro and the RAM upgrade. So basically, you got to make sure it's not plugged in and not turned on. That's very important. You don't want to remove RAM while the computer's turned on. You could cause damage to it. Uh, Apple's very proprietary about their products, and they don't make it really easy for the battery to come out. But if I could, I would prefer to take the battery out. But in this case... I'm not going to do that. So if you notice on the side of the RAM, there's two tabs, two little plastic tabs. You just pull them out and voila, this thing cranks up and you take it out. And there's the old RAM module. So it's, it's as easy as just plugging in a card. If you can plug in a card, you can upgrade the RAM in your computer. Don't be afraid. But if you're, if you're daunted by it, then we can do it for you. So there's the old RAM module. Stick this out of there, and there's the other one. It's a little harder to get out of there because just because of the how tight the space is. Come on out. I have to work it a little bit more, and it's almost there. There we go. Okay, so I just had to pull the tabs back. The top tag wanted to hold it down in place. So there's the old RAM module. Currently the computer had four gigs of RAM. This is a two gig module, two gig module. Now I'm replacing it with two four gig modules. And you'll notice there's pretty much no way to go wrong with installing this RAM. You can see how the cartridge itself, or the, the DIM they call it, is offset. So you can't accidentally plug it in the wrong way. So in this case, with the Kingston RAM, the label faces down. But it, it can only go in one way, so don't be afraid that you're plugging it in wrong. And you just secure it in there, and it should hear a nice little click. And then in with the other module, secure it in there, and then push down. Nice little click. And that's it. I just turned a 4 gig computer into an 8 gig of RAM, allowing the hard drive to do less work and the RAM to do more work and more multitasking and more productivity. Brendan Thomas, Tech Partner, moving along with technology.